<clears throat> okay. Um, this is part two on my Windows Vista Experience Index. Uh, I'm not going to waste a lot of time here. But anyways, like I was saying, more times than not a graphics card that's going to uh, keep your keep your computer from performing better. So you want to get your best driver for that. Um, there's also other things to about your computer. Maybe your hard drive is a really old hard drive. Maybe you built your computer and got this hard drive on eBay because it was cheap and it's um, 4200p and it's slow and it's rated a 1.5 and that's holding back your computer. Then you go get a new hard drive, you, data up, you put your data back on it and now maybe you've got a 5.0 because you have a better hard drive. Uh, it really could be anything. All computers are different, all, all hardware is different, all drivers are different. It really doesn't matter. Another thing I've noticed with on uh, your graphics. If you have three gigabytes of memory, that's not good. If you have seven, that's not good. If you have um, an odd number, like one, three, five, seven, whatever you've got, it's probably not good. You want to have, usually, and I'm talking laptop here, there's two dims, or two places where you can insert memory. Two, uh, like, bays in a garage. Um, in one of them, you might have a gig. In the other one, you might have two gig. That does not enable something called um, dual channel and you want dual channel you want to have them equal a gig and a gig two gig two gig four gig four gig three i don't even think they make three gig chip for 512 meg 512 meg by, by the way i don't recommend that for this uh, megahertz brand you want to get 667 or 800 if you have more than that that's good if you have less than that like 533 it's okay right now but maybe in the future upgrade as ram is pretty cheap right now so this laptop came with a gig and two gig it had three gig in it i took out the one gig Threw it to the birds and bought a 2 gig. So I have two 2 gigs in it, and it took my index from a 2.5 to a 3.0. <clears throat> and the graphics quality is better, it's faster, it's a higher rating. And I, I really don't get upsetting, upsetting, obsessed in the rating as I used to. People know that. So keep your RAM dims even. Other than that, making things better, well, I. I, all I can say is look at what's holding you back, and if you're worried about it, update that hardware. But Windows wanted this experience index thing to get totally um, bigger than it actually did. I mean, they wanted you to look at your score, say, hey, I have a 3.0, then go out and buy software based on that. Like if you wanted to buy uh, some game, I'm not a gamer, I don't know, and it and it um, needs a 4.3 to a 5.9 index, and you have a 3.0, it's not going to run on it. But gaming companies have not adopted that. And I don't know anybody who's adopted that, who's adopted that scale yet, and I doubt they will. I don't think this is going to come around in Windows 7 or Windows Vienna, next, general, next generation of Windows. Um, I don't even expect it to stay in Vista that long. I mean, Service Pack 2 may eliminate it. By the way, I haven't heard anything about Service Pack 2, and quite frankly, I've been, service, I've been uh, satisfied with Service Pack 1. Anyways, uh, hopefully that can help you maybe boost your score up a little bit with the RAM. It's not that big of a deal, so you have a 1 point whatever, a 2 point whatever, a 3 if you're not happy with that. Highest I've ever had on any computer of mine was a 3.1, that's my ThinkPad. My ThinkPad's a great computer, too. Only compatible with 3 gig of RAM. Now I could put a, 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 a 2 and a 2 in it, and I'd have 4, and it'd still be a 3.1, theoretically. But then that 1 would not work, because this 32-bit can't support that, and I can't put 64 on it, because it's only an x86-based or 32-bit um, compatible processor. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, let me know what you've got. And um, if you have the same laptop, by the way, HP Pavilion DV6809, or the DV6000, DV6700, any DV6 series. Let me know what you've got. It's, it's interesting to compare. So um, thank you for watching. Please comment, please subscribe, and uh, thanks again.